Ah, good day everyone and welcome to today's video. The hair is crazy. Okay, so my perm did not actually hold, unfortunately, but luckily she's gonna get me in to redo it. Sometimes this happens if like they do like a treatment and it just like makes my hair a little too soft. It just like doesn't hold sometimes. So she's gonna try a different technique. Anyways, today we are going to be naming the puppies. So let's go in and check on them and see how they're doing. Hello babies. Hi, are you guys ready for the naming ceremony? I think you guys, oh, what's going on? What are you doing, little man? I picked out names for you guys from the comments. You hiding in there? You little mouse? You're acting very silly. You are a silly boy. What do you need? Hmm? Huh? You are crazy. Excuse me. Are you shy? Burrow. A little while ago, I asked you guys to give me name suggestions for the puppies. <laughs> and you guys had a lot of really good ones, but one, one, it was actually one of the top comments because I mentioned how brave this one is. And if you guys have never seen the movie Brave Little Toaster, some of you guys recommended that this one's name be Toast or Toaster. Um, but I like Toast as this one because he kind of looks like Toast. You are Toast, yes. And then little one, come here. You're acting wild today. Are you learning a personality? Yeah. You love it. You just love. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Alrighty. Your turn, come here. And now your name. Are you ready for your naming ceremony? Your name is gonna be Strudel. So it'll be Toaster Strudel, or Toast and Strudel. What do you think, Strudel? You like that name, Mr. Strudel? Either that or Pinky from Pinky and the Brain, but I like Strudel. Strudel. Strudel and Toast. Come here, let me hold you both. Or I could have named them Pinky and the Brain, because you guys kind of look like the little mice from that. Pinky and the Brain, 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 Brain. Anyways, welcome Toast and Strudel. Up next is Auntie, and I've decided to keep the name Auntie because I think it's funny and it just fits so well. Auntie is still struggling with the fear and anxiety, but I don't know. I like, look at it. Roadrunner. Come on, you're running so fast, you're running so fast. Go, 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 go. Really? You're the only brave one. You're the only brave one. And mother. Don't be scared. You know who I am. Have I hurt you yet? No, I haven't. Okay, have a mother here. No, mother, stay, stay, stay. Come here, it's okay. I'm just like still trying to figure out like, what would cause like this type of anxiety with a dog, with like the fear of humans? Do you think she was like abused or something? Or do you think it's just like the conditions of like, only seeing like maybe one human like created like a fear of them because i don't think they have much interaction with humans but like she must think humans are bad for some reason like there had to have been some sort of like human abuse that was like demonstrated to like have this type of fear around a person Mama, i wish you would just love me and not be so scared guys i think auntie's starting to come around to me like normally she's running around acting crazy or hiding and she's just like sitting right next to me. Hi, could I pet you? Oh, maybe not. No, she's just playing hard to get. Remember when I pet, it feels nice. Mother's still laying here. Hi, come here. See, that's nice. It's nice when humans touch. Doesn't that feel good? We're recalibrating that brain. That small little brain needs to know that I'm a friend. What did we just learn? What did we just learn? Can I pet you? Ugh. 
this is so much progress, you guys. This is crazy. Auntie, you're coming around. Okay, it's the next day and Monty slept over and she is obsessed with her ball, as we know. She hasn't had one because she has an addiction and Daniel's trying to get her off the addiction <laughs> because once she starts, she can't stop. But he's picking her up today and she's leaving to go with him to Montana. And so, you know, just being <laughs> the toxic stepfather, I'm gonna give her her ball. Monty, come here with your ball. Monty, where's your ball? Monty, where's your ball? Where is it? Monty, I think I know where your ball is. I literally have to hide them. Oh, there's two in here, okay. Oh my, look at her face. She is so happy. Girl, don't act like you like this. Oh my goodness. Can you believe, okay. okay. <laughs> still have it, honey. All right, let's go outside. Let's go outside and play fetch. Okay, mother. Go get it. And this is not gonna stop forever until I hide it. She's back on the sauce, aren't ya? Oh, <gasps> she took it from you. She stole it. Get it from her, Monty, get it. <laughs> it's so funny how they interact. She's like, look what I got, mother. Hello, may I help you both? Oh, do I have something both you guys want? <laughs> She's like, don't let my mouth throw it. <laughs> oh, careful. Okay, so Daniel is here to pick up Monty to go on their little trip, but I'm going to trick him because Monty and Hunter look so similar. I'm gonna see if he notices. So I'm gonna bring Hunter out and see how long it takes. Oh, Wolfie. Oh my God, no, who is that? What? Get that dog out of here. <laughs> Hi, honey. This is Monty. Get a tree. Oh, <laughs> Wolfie. He hates you. Wolfie. Oh, I guess you have to take him with you. I can't, he's too big. <laughs> I can't handle him and Storm together. I have to take Storm and Monty or, or Monty and Wolfie. Um, right. I got some, well, what'd you get me? Some, not for you. Hi. So she can match her mother. It's a gorgeous green. Oh, that is gorgeous. Harness. Green is her color. It and looks great. a leash, so you can actually take her on walks. Wow. From Wild One. Look, there's a, poop, a little toy for her. Oh. Another toy. He comes wearing gifts. Another toy. Oh my gosh. And a collar and a poop bag. Wow. And you can use code Daniel 15 for 15% off of what? Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. So sweet. Look how gorgeous. And you're gonna match your mommy. Okay, so tomorrow is the 4th of July and I wanna make these margarita popsicles. So I went to the grocery store, I got some mix and stuff, but I also wanna do like a strawberry margarita. So I got some fresh strawberries and I feel like I've seen so many videos of people soaking their strawberries and crazy stuff comes out. So I have a bowl of veggie wash that I'm going to literally just pull off these in. We'll see what comes out. Go ahead, get clean. Honestly, nothing much really came out of here. There's like some really tiny things that are just like little baby bugs, but like nothing crazy, so. All clean here. Strawberries are clean. We're gonna add them to the margarita mix and we're gonna just blend this. I kind of want there to be chunks in there. I feel like that's kind of fun to have chunkies. Okay, that looks a little crazy, but we're gonna work with it. Okay, I'm not sure how this is gonna work. I was supposed to use like popsicle sticks, but I don't have it, so I got these tiny forks. Are you okay? So we're gonna try and see, hopefully this floats. Okay, it does float at the top. So that should, in theory, work as a popsicle stick. Okay, they're all done, and now I'm gonna put them in the freezer, and we will find out tomorrow if they worked. Okay, we're heading to bed, and this girl, she collects things from the bathroom, and she brings them up here, and she makes a little nest. Are you getting ready for bed with all your friends? Is it okay if I put this stuff on the ground? She's like, yeah, that's fine. I'll get it in the morning. Lay down, Mooney. It's bedtime. Oh, 
okay well i'm going to end the video here i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did please give it a thumbs up and until next time i'll see you next time good am bye